Well guys, the BioCube is back up and running. Back up and ready to go. Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited? I'm so excited. There's no leaks. It's clean. We got a new fresh start, new fresh scape, sand, everything. This is gonna be so good. Hey you guys, real quick, if you wanna support this channel, the best way to do that is by hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and leave me a comment down below. Say, hey, this is a cool video. Cool tanks, I like it thumbs up and hit the bell notification so that you know when I upload. Hey guys, how's it going? Brian here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the BioQ build series and we're getting it wet. Let's go. Alright guys, this is our rock that was supplied by Art Reef. Art Reef Rock. It's been cycling in here for at least a month so it should be good to go and ready for our bio, bio cube. Now it is still in pieces, so that way I can get it to fit in here. Oh, that smells good. <sighs> All right, let's get this in the tank. So I'm putting the rock in first, so that way the sand won't move around too much, and it's more stable this way. And in case I get some type of sand sifting goby or some type like that, they can't move the sand and make it fall over. Now if you miss this video on this rock, I will link it down below or put a card up above right now so that way you can see how we were building this and a little bit more info that's on this rock. Well guys, this is our finished aquascape for the BioCube. Now I really like how much surface area there really is on top of this thing. Just looking down, it feels corner to corner. It's like a it's a nice bonsai feel to it and I I thoroughly enjoy it and I think it's going to be really great for the corals that we are going to put on it. I also want to take a moment and talk about flow and what we're using for flow. Flow is super important in a reef tank because this is how your coral get their nutrients and also export their waste. It's super important. You do not want stagnant water. You want nice rippling water at the surface. You want to have that gas exchange, but also a nice flow pattern, especially for your coral. Another key factor of having really good flow in your reef tank is allowing that detritus to not build up and settle in a corner or on the floor in the sand or even on your rock and become a nutrient hazard. Instead, it'll get suspended into the water column and filtered out through your filter socks or rollers or whatever you use. In a future video, I'll go over flow more in depth. We are using the AI Nero 3, which I think is gonna be perfect for this build and is going to provide enough flow for what we need. And it's also app controlled, which is what I like. And on our return outlet, I have the Vivid Creative Aquatics Random Flow Generator, which will help create some additional flow directions in the tank. For our sand, I decided to go with the Carib Sea Fiji Pink Live Sand. I personally think this is a nice sand. It's not too coarse. It's not too fine. It's somewhat in the middle of those two and it has some nice little pink flakes in there when the light hits it, it's, it'll be kind of neat. All right guys, it's time to get our sand in. There we go. Ooh, it's 
sandcastles. There's still a tiny bit. Yeah, we'll get that. That's perfect. Let's put it right on top. Hey! Yay! <laughs> there it is. Our sand is now in. This 20 pound bag was perfect for this 32 gallon bio cube because I like to do about half an inch to one inch uh, sand bed. I don't like to go too deep to be honest with you. I mean, it's good for nutrient export, but we can talk about that in another video. But the sand is in, it looks great. So good, the contrast is really nice and I'm looking forward to getting it wet. Let's go. All right, guys, it's time to fill her up. Let's go. All right, guys, so a really big important thing is when you're filling up a tank, new or especially used or reused, make sure you're looking this tank over and over for leaks because if you don't catch it soon enough, it's going to be all over your floor. All right, so this way is filling up kind of slow, so I want to speed it up a little bit, but I don't want to stir up the sand too much and make a big dust cloud. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this bag on the bottom of the sand bed, and I'm going to have the python hose hook, have the water go directly onto the bag and not the sand bed. Just like that, it's going onto the bag and not kicking up the sand as much as if it would directly go into the sand. Reef hack. So awesome guys, it's back. The bio cube is back. A little cloudy, but hey, it'll clear up in a couple days. But I think it's really fun to ask you guys, what kind of coral would you like to see in here? I'm already leaning towards, you know, softies like Zoas, some leather, some Kenya trees, some mushrooms, maybe throw some GSP in here. I wanna know what you wanna see in here. I think it'll be fun that we can uh, make this a community tank as well. All right, real quick, so I'm just gonna run down uh, what I have going on to cycle this tank. I left everything out in the middle chamber. There's nothing in there. Uh, no filter pad, nothing. Uh, what I will do eventually is the rock that we were cycling with this. I'm gonna crush up some, put it in a big old uh, media bag that has bigger holes and then put it in uh, one of these chambers in this stock rack. And then I will install a, the heater will go in here and the ATO auto top off. A sensor will also go into this third chamber 
So that way we can have fresh water, keep going, keep the salinity stable, everything like that. But now all we have to do is add our bacteria and a little bit of ammonia source, which I'll probably just throw some food in here. I'm gonna kick this cycle off with some of this Fritz Turbo Start. It's actually really good stuff and it depletes, it will help get rid of nitrates, phosphates, and uh, ammonia pretty quick. And it's really good for cycling a tank. Maybe. That's all there is to it. We used live sand that has bacteria in there. And also our rock is now live rock because I've been cycling for over a month. And now we got some extra bacteria in there. It's gonna go pretty fast, I think. But I will be documenting it and I will show you in the next video. And until then guys, just remember, just reef. <laughs>